Hi there, I'm Lisa. This is Ted, my partner, and their best friend, Hans the dog. On the 18th of March 2020, when COVID-19 spanned the globe and the world began to lock down, we decided to turn our lives upside down and begin the adventure of a lifetime. We threw in our jobs, packed up the car and purchased this 14th century Monument Historique de France. You have arrived. Woohoo! We have arrived. <laughs> With no previous experience, just £80,000 budget and a tent as a temporary residence, we plan to renovate this former House of Tabellion into a family home and thriving business. Learning new skills along the way, we have one year to bring this ancient Relayder Post back to life. We invite you to come along for the ride. So strap yourselves in and let the fun begin. Welcome to week 13 at Chateau de Montmagne. Yeah. God, it's just gone so quick. And well, then no, it's it's just... When you think about that, it's a quarter of a year, 13 oh, weeks. Oh, God, don't. Oh, my God, that's really worrying, actually. Time is running out. Um, but we've done um, another very hard-working week. <laughs> what? what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> Last week, obviously, we had loads of visitors, which restricted us a bit. This week we wanted to crack on, and we did. We cracked on really well, actually, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We had a really long, long days. Um, it's been really, really good. It's been really good yeah. to get our teeth into some proper renovation. Yeah. Or, you know, yeah. Get going. Mm. And um, so this week we had a regular soldiers on Sunday. We did our list, but we only had three items on that list because there are three big jobs that um, need to get completed for us to be able to continue certain things. So... Um, it's good to do a big job. It does. But before we go on to that, um, you're not seeing things. We are sitting on a sofa. Yay! We have pure luxury. <laughs> now, that's another story which you'll see in a little while. Um, we're still in the barn, though, and we've still got the tent, I'm afraid. But we do have a sofa now, so we can put our feet up a bit. Yeah. Um, but in Shame the meantime, we broke the telly. Yeah, we did have a t smart TV. We did TV. have a really nice smart telly, but we... Um, so maybe we could watch Netflix and YouTube, but um, yeah, we, but broke, we it. Uh, broke it. Yeah, we broke it. Smashed somehow. Anyway, we'd like to say a huge lovely. thank you to our patrons. Um, as you know, you guys um, on YouTube told us about Patreon page, and we went on and had a look and started a Patreon page. And um, the good news for you is lots of people said, can you do a £5 tier? We now have a £5 tier. Um... And we've had so much fun with our patrons. We'd uh, like to say welcome to the new lovely, ones. Lovely, uh, we've got Katrina, people. Paula and Michael, and new patrons. Welcome on board welcome. and for joining the rest of us. It's Thank growing you so much. each day. Thank you. Um, and we have loads of fun because each um, each week we put loads of extra content on there, behind the scenes. Um, last week we did a whole week, didn't we, of every day put behind the every scenes. Every day's and videos, yeah. Little it's bits good fun. on there. It was, yeah, it's good fun. Good you fun. get extended content as Fantastic well. Fantastic Q&A we did last week as well, um, yeah. just a, you know, a few days ago, uh, which is just, it was great because it was like, people asked us questions and it was like us talking to our, our mates and, and hopefully people enjoyed it. But that's on the Patreon page. So if you fancy popping over to have a look, Ted has now taken over doing the Instagram because I'm rubbish at Instagram. Well, it's, you know, and yeah, she was rubbish. There's no two ways about <laughs> it. Um, but it's it's great. And I, I do like taking pictures, um, which is what it's all about for me, taking pictures of weirdness and, and, and around this lovely place and taking pictures of my dog. Anybody on this Instagram will know that I like taking pictures of my dog and I like putting pictures on a bit because he don't get enough he don't get enough uh, air time <laughs> so we need to do things with 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 hands stroke sparky um, when we're thinking about getting him a pro uh, what's it called pro a GoPro, uh, GoPro GoPro and sticking it on sticking his head, it on running his head around. yeah Let and we'll do some videos adventures we, of hands yeah, we are going to do some videos of adventures of hands but anyway, if you fancy um, popping over to the Instagram page and having a look at that as well, please and obviously, do, please do, and follow, like Facebook. us, like us, and follow us, you know, Facebook, like us, follow us, YouTube, you lovely you people on YouTube, we're up to about 2,850 subscribers on YouTube, what we'd love to do is push that over the three grand mark. Uh, by the end of the month would be wonderful honestly it would be a real real th great just right into 
into summertime, we get over that 3,000 mark. That'd be so, brilliant. if you can, as like, subscribers, subscribe, if, hit well, the bell for notifications. Also, if you could possibly share the channel Sharing. with your other social yeah. media, yeah. share the channel first, because a few of you did do that, and we did get some hits on that, and we got some lovely, people subscribing. Lovely. Yeah. So, thank you so much for those yeah, of you that have done it. Keep those comments coming in, because we love them to bits. Yeah. And we take notice. We and do. And you'll see you later on. Yeah. So, coming up first thing is me in my first job of this week, which is putting the rock wall insulation into the walls. Take Hi a look guys. at this. I hope you can see this okay. Um, it's a bit dark in this room. We haven't got a light in here today because Ted you look it. Um, I'm going to shut that window. It's a bit noisy. Um... Um, so this morning is Sunday morning and, um, Sunday mornings is always a bit of relief for me because it means I've uploaded last week's video. That's all done. And we get started on this week. We've had a uh, egg and soldiers this morning. Um, and we've done a list for this week. Now a list is quite short for this week because we've got two major things that we want to get done. And that's finishing the insulation and plasterboard in apartment two um so we've got to get on with that and um i want to finish the prep in the two rooms downstairs the tea room and apartment one uh for me to start watering and i'm hoping because the weather's supposed to be quite good this week that i can do some watering this week um so today i've got straight up here and i'm getting on with doing the um insulation because that's something i can do and then Ted can come behind me and do the plasterboarding. We've done all sort of that side. We've got, we've done one wall. We've got the rest of it to do. Um, so here's the wire here, which is for a plug socket. And there's a wire sticking out the wall here, which will be for a light switch. Um, and then Ted will come behind me and put the plasterboard up and put a hole in it. And that's where the light switch is and it'll go. So when I did it, I thought, oh, I wonder what height shall I do it? So I just stood beside it and thought, Oh yeah, that's a good height for me, and that's a good height, you know, get your stuff in, I have got to lean down too far. Then Ted decides to come up and tells me there's regulations. Who sticks to regulations? Well, apparently we have to. So, um, so I'll put them in the wrong place, so I now need to change them. Um, but I'm going to do the um, side long ball next, so I will show you, I'll do a bit of a time lapse thing and show you me um, putting the insulation in and then I might do a quick video of how I'm actually doing it not that I'm an expert because Ted's told me what I need to do and the builders told Ted what he tells me that I need to do if that makes sense um but I'll tell you what I'm doing anyway so it's kind of like four way it's a bit like Chinese whispers isn't it the builders tells Ted Ted tells me I tell you um anyway let's get on and get it done okay I've got a bit of light up here now so I'll quickly show you what I'm doing so we want to put the rock wall in for insulation inside these um each of these beams what are they called stud studding um i just do as i'm told so what i'm having to do is measure um and make sure that i get the right fit you want it tight again this isn't a tutorial i'm just telling you what the builders told me um you want it tight but you don't want it too tight you want to be able to breathe a bit um so um, I'm starting on this one down here because so I'm going to do this whole wall. Um, so measuring the bottom is, oh, dead on 30. And then I measure slightly out because they are slightly out. Um, and that one's 29 and a half. So I need to do it 30 to 29 and a half. So this is how okay, I'm doing Okay, so I've got my bit of rock wall. And the... Bottom was, oh shit, I forgot what it was now, 30, the bottom was 30, um, if Ted was here he'd be saying go and check it, um, so I measure 30 and the bottom was 29 and a half, and the top was 29 and a half, so measuring that, Using my 
ruler. I put it on the lines. Want to make sure it's exact. Got my sterling knife. And just pour down the rock wall. Take that away. Now, because I've already got my line there, it's easy just to then cut through. Um, so you just make a few more incisions to make sure you've got all the way through. And Bob's your uncle! Uh, that was bottom. So I'll write on there bottom, so I'll make sure I put it in the right way. And then I'll show you the more difficult okay. bits. Make sure I've got the bottom up. So you literally just pop it in. It's not um, a genius. You don't need a genius to be able to do this. It's pretty easy. So that goes in quite nicely. And you just push it in. So it's nice and flush. And then the passport will go over the top. So let's carry on and do the rest of the bowl. Teddy bears come to inspect my work. Stunning. I think it's an absolutely brilliant job. Yeah? Fantastic job. I definitely could have not done no better myself. So definitely, over to you in plasterboarding. A lot worse. Well, that's, that, that's the... Uh, now I've got the easy bit to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you corrected these, have you? Yeah. Fantastic. Lovely job. You've done a sterling job, my dear. Sterling. Good. I'm proper impressed. Good. So. So you've only got the rest of the room to do. Yep. I wasn't. I wasn't going to video that because I was. No, <laughs> no you've done a job. One and a half walls to no, go. I did quite a good job actually. I think you did a cracking job. Uh, yep. Yeah, and I actually, if you do see so, say, I say that in the video. That, 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 you, that you did a cracking job, a sterling job, I think I said. Sterling job, you said. Sterling job. And after that, I put the plasterboard on the walls, or at least some of the walls, which you'll see. Um, have a look. Here, 
the you can see that? Not my fault on it. And oh, I've got a wrong through board through here. Sorry, you can't see me, you won't be able to see me with these cables in the way because I'm so slim now. Been driving me around the bend. And, uh, so you see all these blue and red pipes. These are the water pipes. This is the main, and these are the water pipes going around for everything else um, into the bathroom area. Um, <laughs> it looks a bit of a mess. I can't say anything because I really don't know. But what? told off this morning um, because I didn't do a roundup video at the end of yesterday when I finished but I was a bit cream crackered in my defence however yes slap on the wrist for Teddy Boy um, we have finished pretty much that wall uh, with the plasterboard left the kitchen area open because of the plumber coming in and doing his bit, the electrician coming in and doing his bit. So I'm not completely um, sure about what they want in there. That's fine, it shouldn't take long to do that. It's not like cutting in loads of beams. Um, obviously this central wall has got to be done, which we will do next week. Um, but yesterday completed round the chimney breast um, which I'm quite pleased with um, there is a, a, a board to go in the back of here just to seal off that there's one to run down here as, as I've explained um, but what I like about it and it's, I know this is weird and you'll probably be you know some people will hate it some people hopefully will like it but I kind of like it it's the fact that this is straight and everything else is a bit crooked and a bit curved and a bit all over the place. But because where this is, this is in the bedroom, the bed's going to come out here. I like the fact that it's, you know, that juxtaposition between the straight and the crooked. So in here is the, the water tank will go in here. There will be a little alcove at the side of the bed. There will be kind of dressing table a fair here and then a wardrobe in that kind which will correspond with that but what we're going to do or what I'm hoping to do is put a curve on there and a curve on there to make it look sort of you know the, the distances are different and it will look but it will should look kind of cool I think and we're going to have a very fancy bed in there but I don't want to tell you that because that's down the right right down way down the line so next week um, we're going to be putting in the bathroom um, to the extent that I should be boarding this outside and then the green will, green plasterboard, the hydro board will go on the inside and then that will all be all be ready and so we should have plasterboard boxes 
for the whole of this, this room, which will be great. Because it will give us, well, we already know, me and Lisa already know how this is going to look. We've got it in our heads. But it should give you, the viewers, maybe a little bit more of any, uh, you know, uh, uh, of our vision of what we, what we want to do. Okay. Um, the window. Now, a few comments we had back quite a while ago is when we studied this and studied it all the way through instead of doing what you can see here, which is the, the alcove. Um, we were going to study all the way through. However, we listened and we had a little rethink. We sat up here one afternoon and had a little rethink and decided to kind of do what you said. So we've, as you see, we bought it inside the alcove there. There's going to be a nice piece of wood going here, maybe in a shape, to give a little dressing table, a little writing desk, it's going to be power at the bottom, so if you want to work on your laptop with your laptop, um, you can do that. But the lovely thing is, and when the garden's all done, you're going to have this incredible view. Not of my car, but uh, you know, with the cypress trees and the big old ash beyond it, and hopefully when that is all meadowland, which is what we what we're really hoping for. That will be a lovely view, and I know for a fact myself, is if I was working up here, I wouldn't have got a lot of work done. Looking out there. Thank you for the comments, and we did listen. And we thank you for that, because it's not that we didn't think of it, but we thought we could go a different way but we have to bow to, to everybody's uh, suggestions and thanks ever so much because I think it works really well. So, there was one job actually that wasn't on our list. However, our neighbours Sheila and Ian from down the road, a kilometre down the road, which you've heard us talk about before, um, came up and told us that they were getting a new sofa. And they had an old sofa that they needed to get rid of before the new sofa came. Would we like it? Would the pikeys down the road like it? <laughs> and so we the wanted it. Down the road, add it, <laughs> and this is it. So it did mean, though, that we had to clear this barn out because when we first moved in here, we obviously we arrived here late at night. We worked out which barn would be the best one for the tent to go in. We put the tent in, and we didn't clean didn't this do barn at all. Of it, no. it, there was. Rubbish, Rubbish everywhere. everywhere, like um, everywhere else in the earth. So, so we had a good clean out. Um, we also gave us the chance to put and some stuff up in the from, attic. And if anybody from Leclerc Supermarket is watching, we got one of your trolleys. No, we got two of their trolleys. We got two of their trolleys. Yeah. Yeah, there's another one around the back here. So, but yeah, certainly the other one I've pulled out for you so you can have a look if we you want it back. thinking about midnight one night, might putting do, it back in the back do, of the do, car yeah, and popping it back up to Leclerc. Put a little note on it saying, found, yeah. Return. Can we have can I have me can I have me Euro back now? <laughs> so here's us just having a quick clean up of the barn. Oh, and redesigning the kitchen. Redesigning the bloody kitchen. This is about the fourth time we've redesigned this or Ted's redesigned this kitchen. I have said to Lisa, this person here, you get it right when I build that house for you, because I am not redesigning that kitchen. <laughs> four times in 13 weeks okay you make sure you know what you want and i'll put it in once and once only <laughs> so this was us sorting out the kitchen so today we thought we would um clean up our barn this is where our tent is in our kitchen because when we moved in here we just basically, it was so late at night, we'd travelled for so many hours. So we, um, and we've been down, so we just pitched the tent and got everything in and just carried on really. Um, so today we thought, well, this week we've had so many visitors and things going on that we really need to clean this tent out, um, get rid of a load of rubbish that's in here, burn it, um, like all the bits of wood and uh, cardboard and everything. and. Um, 
sort out all the plastics that are in here so we can take down to the dishettery and so on and so on. And then Ted's going to redesign my kitchen again. So, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. A bit boring, but thought you might like to see how the kitchen's redesigned. Um, where is the blue scooby thing? Um, I bought a bucket in here. So, look, look how much tidy that floor looks. Look at that yeah, beautiful right. stone floor. Yeah, and we can cover it over. What about spiders? It's not one of my greatest concerns. Oh, it's mine. You want spiders in Miss Stew? Alright, so that's it's all right that way. Do you reckon we could become, um, what would you call it, vintage car um, kitchen fitters? No. <laughs> People that go, no, don't bother. Are no, you alright? So now I'm going to show you my new kitchen. So I now have a table. This is um, a duct table we found in one of the rooms. So I now have my own little space for doing my video editing. Because before I used to do the video editing, the cooking, the cleaning and everything all on the kitchen table. Or sitting on the side of the bed in the tent. So it's really nice to have my own space to be able to do my videos for you guys. Um, we have a fridge freezer. And we have a kitchen area. This is my lovely orange sink for my washing up. We've got my two ring burner, which actually is now just a one ring burner because we went out and bought two rings. One of them broke after a week, so, and sadly it was a big one that broke, so I'm now only um, cooking on one ring burner. So that's my nice kitchen side. I've been able to get my um, flint and flame knife block out, which is great because I've got some knives to work on now. Got me chicken here that Ted's going to um, joint for me later, put on the barbie. And then Ted out of pallet wood made a load of these shelves for us. So I've got all my uh, spices and my tins and all my kitchen stuff out. And then we've got a sofa. It's pure luxury. So we've got all this space now, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, we're able to have a little jig about and have a little dance in here um, if we want to which we don't really get the time for, but it just means we've got loads more space and it's really good because last week when Sheila and Ian came over for a barbecue, later on in the evening it started raining and we had nowhere to take them. We had to sit in Ted's workshop barn in all the dust and uh, sawdust. Now on to my next job. So, it was a bit emotional. I wanted to finish the tea room, preparing all the walls. Now, you would have seen um, quite a few weeks back, I think it was about week four or something, that um, when 
yeah, I think, no, it might have been earlier than that, week three or something, when we did the tea room video, and we took everything off the walls, and we, we, we started sorting all the tea room out. Well, I want to water, mortar the tea room walls, and I need to be able to prepare the tea room for that mortaring, and it needs to be done really properly. So, I spent a whole day preparing the walls, uncovering more stone, and it got quite emotional. It was quite an emotional day, and you'll see why in the next video. And I'm very sorry for the emotions, but for some reason, that room really gets to me. So, take a look at this. So, this week we're back in the tea room. Um, and you would have seen, oh God, weeks ago. Um, weeks and weeks ago, it feels like a lifetime ago, but um, I think probably week four or five, um, you would see this video of the tea room. And this room was covered in red fabric, then behind the red fabric was cement, so it took us a long time getting the cement off the walls. What I'm doing today is, um, and what I was doing yesterday, I started, is clearing out all of the, between the stones, um, all of the old mortar and clay between the stones so there's enough gap there for new mortar to go in and stick to it. Now most of this room we want to keep exposed stone. The north facing wall we will be putting up um, some insulation and a stud wall in that's because obviously that's where the cold comes through and this place as much as I would love to keep the whole room in stone we need to be able to live in it or people need to be able to live in it so it needs to be warm. Um, we do have the big open fireplace, um, but we will be studying this one wall out. There is an area that I really want to keep, uh, which is the stone area that the mayor told us about where they used to wash their potatoes. Um, it's like an insect. I'll show you. I'll put a clip up. Um, and I want to keep that exposed just because of the history of it. It now really means something. Um, so yeah, so I'm digging all the, the old water out. I've now got my trusty um, wire wall thingy jiggy, I'm not sure what it's called. Um, so I'm gonna be cleaning up the stones now because there's loads of old mortar and whitewash on them. So I'm gonna clean them up because I really want next week to start trying to mortar this room. but. The process of preparing it is really long-winded and you need to make sure you get it right because there's no point in me just, which I'm, I'm normally a very impatient person and I would love to just get on and start watering this wall, but I need to make sure it's prepared properly, otherwise it's gonna look rubbish. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. And the music you can hear in the background is Ted. So I'm just gonna do a quick 360 view, if I can, with this camera um, of this room. So let's do a quick 360 of the room. That's the back door that goes outside. We're gonna put a barn door on in front of that that will slide open um, so that it can be shut. There is shutters on the outside as well. That's the stone inset that I was talking about that I really want to keep exposed. Um, the kitchen area will go over there. Um, we've still got some cement to get off on the lower part. The stonework's superb. Now that doorway is what goes into, it will be a corridor um, that goes to a toilet for the um, cell de tape and reception area and um, there will be another door that goes into apartment number one. That's the door that goes outside and you can see the door then that also goes into the tower. Um, lovely big window there. That's the um, door in the corner there that we've exposed, but we won't be opening up. And they're five oak plaques, and they're a beautiful big fire that I want to keep as a, um, a lovely open fire if possible. So, that's this room. Um, it's quite good to do a 360 of it, actually, because then I've got it for um, the future. And when it's all done, I can do another 360 and show the difference, we hope. So, let me crack on with the work. Now I just wanted to do a close up of this stonework so you can hopefully in a minute have a look and see what it's like once I've cleaned it all off with the wire wall um, circular thingy jiggy. Let's see if it works.
um, who plays the guitar in the band and um, he's also my daughter's father-in-law um, and um, they're turning up really any moment now we're waiting for them and um, they're going to spend a whole week not here their B and B down the road because obviously they won't fit in the tent with us, will they? No, no, don't really no, want that. No, no. Don't think they'd like that I either. I don't think they'd like that either. No, <laughs> no, no, especially with the dog as well. Five, five's a crowd. That's a little were. bit tight, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but anyway, they're He's turning up. Good. They're going to stay around for the week. Um, we went to visit the house that they bought. Um, because of lockdown they wasn't able to go and do any viewing so me and Ted went to view several houses for them and next week we'll show you some clips of that um, of us going to do the viewings we'll show you some clips of the house that we actually brought for them well we didn't not <laughs> well, money wise we, yeah we said we, we, we went to look at it for we them anyway it was the best choice for them yeah, and, and then um, they bought it they decided to buy it so yeah. we are actually Crapping ourselves, aren't we? We're a little bit a little terrified. Bit I've known Dave for 25 years, and it could be the end of a beautiful friendship. Because <laughs> they've never seen it. Um, they've seen it in the videos we've sent them, but they haven't seen it. So yeah. on Monday, we're taking them to see their house for the first time. So it'll yeah. be really good to see what their reaction is. I hope really good. Oh I hope God. they're going to like oh it. Oh God, I hope um, they like it. And next week, we might do a little bit of sightseeing, a bit of touring around. Yeah. Um, Carrie, one of our uh, patrons, lovely lady, she asked us to sort of look into a bit more of the history of the place. We're um, going to have to do that anyway. So yeah, we're gonna, so yeah. next week we might take a trip down to Arnak Lepo's Cemetery where we know a lot of the Markle family are buried there. See if we can find out a bit more. Um, and we might take a trip into um, Marvel. Um, no, no, no Magnac Lavelle. Lavelle. Magnac Marvel Lavelle. South. Um, and um, we know that the connections come from here um, as, as far as my, um, uh, 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 spit it out Lisa, Magnat Lavelle um, is concerned. Um, and we're going to take a trip because Karen loves brocants like I do. So we're going to take a trip to Limoges Occasions, um, which is a huge apparently brocant place down in Limoges. So we're going to take a trip down there and see what we can pick up. Just have a little bit of, yeah, a little bit of touring about with our friends. You know, obviously we're going to crack on with some of the renovation. Um, we have to, you know, because uh, I've got uh, one of the uh, one of the builders coming back next week. We, we may well have uh, a guy coming over with a little mini digger to pull the, pull the, uh, the driveway about so we can get some stones. So there may be visit to quarries and stuff like that, but hopefully there's some really exciting stuff coming up for you. Um, so stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for the notifications. Please come and follow me on Instagram. Um, it'll be pictures of the dog. It normally is. But um, lots of other pictures, hopefully. But it should be a good fun week. And we'll see you real soon. Take care, everyone. See you later. Love you all. Yeah, Bye. love you loads. Bye. Bye. Sure, I keep looking up the road because I keep thinking the car's coming <laughs> for me, mate. For you, mate. Yes. Your little friend. <laughs> me friend. <laughs>
Cheers.